You know, escape rooms are adventure games with the goal of physically solving riddles and mysteries. And as KYW News Radio reporter Justin Udo reports, local medical professionals professionals are putting escape rooms to use to help identify and treat a leading cause of death in U.S. hospitals. <laughs> From the Franklin Institute to your local mall, escape rooms are popping up everywhere. Everybody thinks it's a fun and innovative way to learn. In honor of World Sepsis Day, workers at Penn Presbyterian Medical Center created their own escape room to help staff spot and work with patients who have sepsis, a potentially deadly bodily reaction to an infection. We're trying to teach them um, just the basics of treatment and in what order and in the timely fashion that it really needs to be treated. I'm going to start you guys off with your first clue. All right, and make sure you guys are talking out loud. With 20 minutes on the clock, a team of nurses had to solve puzzles and play games to diagnose Sam Sepasemia, a 50-year-old Eagles fan who hurt himself climbing a light post following the Birds' big Super Bowl win. I think it's stressful, um, but it was also realistic. I think that, you know, we all are trained on what's going on, but when it presents in front of your face, it's a puzzle when time matters. Maybe that needs to go first. As time ticked down, the team went into overdrive, but remained calm. You have to just take a breath, take a minute, and kind of put it together. This escape room activity is not just for fun. It's a learning tool that's meant to work on several different levels. That kind of uh, learning environment where there's teamwork, where there's, where there's interaction, um, is just really crucial to getting these concepts really internalized so that they can put it into practice for our patients. All right, so what color? The team, made up of staff who had not worked together before, were able to escape the room and save the patient with time to spare. It was a good experience for me. I liked it. It makes me feel great. It, it's nice to know that we're working with excellent individuals who know what's going on and that we're willing to work together. And I'm glad that we saved our patient. Justin Udo, KYW News Radio for CBS 3 Eyewitness News.